Hey guys, so I finally finished the boom mic, aka dead cat. The mic is actually encased in here, and it is on this nice pole. This is the actual boom pole, which is a Mr. Longarm telescoping painter's pole. And I made this little attachment. This blue part right here is the handle of a paint roller that fits conveniently on the painter pole, right? And then this metal piece right here was part of a mic desk stand that I got with the microphone that came with the camera. I didn't actually have to buy it. And I just stuck that into the paint roller handle because it's hollow inside. I glued it with some epoxy. This stuff is so awesome. It's like a great substitute for welding. And then this baby is where the mic actually goes into. The frame is made out of a nugget bird feeder that I got from Home Depot for about five bucks. And I just kind of cut off the end. There's also some rubber bands in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like in the shape of an X. And that is what actually suspends the mic within the frame and acts as a shock mount. The cap is made out of a sink strainer that I got from Big Lots for like a dollar. Um, and that fits right on top of the bird feeder. This piece right here is a mic clip that came with the mic desk stand and I just glued it straight to the bird feeder. You can like swivel it back and forth. Then I just wrapped the whole thing in three feather boas from Joann's. And that's it. Here is my mic. So to test it out, I've got my state-of-the-art wind simulator right up over here. High tech, I know. Jealous? I bet you are. Let's test it out without the dead cat. Are you hearing some wind? Really inconvenient, huh? Now to test the dead cat on the wind simulator. Hear any wind? I sure hope not. Now to test the mic long range. Here I go straight across the house.